The South African Medical Research Council is dedicated to exploring medical research in the hopes of reducing the burden of non-communicable diseases such as cancer. We currently have an exceptional unit which focuses solely on non-communicable diseases, but the rapid rise in the number of cancer-related deaths in South Africa in the last few years has urged us to further investigate this disease. The SAMRC has therefore partnered with major universities across the country. This is what they had to say. So cancer is one of the biggest killers of South Africans. We have not done enough to address cancer research in South Africa. So establishing clinical collaborating centers in cancer is our first attempt to make sure that we begin to understand the burden of cancer, how we manage it, and also the epidemiology and genetics around cancer. Uh, we should be, South Africa should be the global oncology capital of the world and we should be the leaders in global oncology and at this stage South Africa um, is not leading the field in, in cancer. We have um, a huge burden of cancer in this country. It's led by infectious diseases. Um, it's not managed optimally and we don't know how good we are at, at survival and how good we are at managing cancer. So in building cancer centers I hope that we can begin to understand better the genetics and the epigenetics of cancer in South Africa, how HIV and non-communicable diseases affect outcome, and also whether we have the best treatment and how to manage it. So I'm hoping that we're going to make discoveries in cancer. I'm hoping that we're going to understand better the genetics of cancer. I'm hoping also that um, we're going to contribute to personalized medicine in cancer and contribute towards the cure for cancer. And so I want South Africa to be leaders in cancer research and this is the first step towards attaining that. Well I think that it will contribute the biggest and most common cancer in South Africa affecting women is cervical cancer which for about a hundred years we've known how to prevent but we've never really implemented it in poor countries because of the complexity of the prevention process. So we, we've got a very big focus on cervix cancer but I think the other thing that we've done which is unique is that we've pulled together professionals from, from the laboratory right to the clinical side. So we're bringing the expertise into one space. And I think that's going to be very enriching and I think should have impactful, meaningful research that improves the quality of women's lives. And I think that this initiative is fantastic because it's getting people to look at cancer in South Africa and also as I said earlier it's also going to help people learn to collaborate. I mean you look at cancer diagnosis in South Africa I mean most I'd say over 90 percent of cancers are diagnosed in the four big provinces Kauteng, Western Cape, KwaZulu-Natal and Free State with uh, Western Cape and Kauteng being the biggest by far and probably over 40 percent of cancer in the country are diagnosed in Kauteng so it's weak in the smaller areas and I think it's not that there isn't cancer there, it just is not getting diagnosed. Although a lot of people do move into the cities, but a lot of patients just die. My main area of interest is colorectal cancer, and I've done quite a lot of research on colorectal cancer. That is cancer of the colon, rectum, and anus. Yeah. My colleagues who are in, the, in this new cancer, uh, gastrointestinal cancer uh, center, have also done research in upper gastrointestinal uh, 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 areas as well as hepatobiliary cancer. Hepatobiliary cancer involves cancers of the liver, cancers of the pancreas, which are also regarded as gastrointestinal cancers. So all this, the, the, this research that we've done is preliminary and is leading us to further research questions which we'll be able to uh, address and try to answer with future research.